Let's take a look at the web version of my Evernote account. I went to evernote.com and logged in. In the middle of my screen, you can see all my notes displayed. For this highlighted note, here is a preview. To the left of my screen are all my notebooks. The notebooks all have a collection of notes. If you look closely, you will notice that the notebooks are organized in stacks. Here I can collapse this stack and now I'll re-expand it. Evernote is about much more than just saving websites. It can save videos, images, PDF documents, websites, or Word documents. I tried different approaches to organize my content, and it took me a while to decide on what was the best way to organize my account for the benefit of my learners and myself. I have my admin notebooks, I have a stack of notebooks for my learners and I have organized my resources into a collection of notebooks. For my learners, all learners have been assigned one notebook and each learner's notebook has multiple activities. To create a note, click on New Note. In your title bar, give your note a title, then click in the area to place your note, select the Attach To, select the file you want to attach. Now go ahead and attach. Now you will see the note is now displayed in my list of notes with a preview on the right. When I share this note with a learner, the learner will simply click on the file, open it, work on it if they wish, or print it. To save websites to Evernote, we could use the same process. However, Evernote makes it easier by giving us a product called the Evernote Web Clipper, which we can install on our browser. And then whenever we are on a website that we think would be useful, we simply click on the Web Clipper and it will save it as a note in our notebook. To create a new notebook, I go to my notebooks, select new notebook, give the notebook a name, here I would add to the stack of learners notebook, this is where I want to add my notebook. To share the notebook with the learner, I simply click on the arrow, share this notebook. Then I want to share it by publishing. And this link I will share with my learner. I will copy this link. And I will use a short code to share the link with the learner so that the learner does not have to type this long code but to use the shortened version. This shortened URL code is what I will give to the learner and when the learner logs in, this is what the learner will see.
Here is the desktop version of Evernote, which has a few more features that are not available in the web version. It is this version that allows me to share my notes with my learners in their notebook. For example, I wanted to share this note with a learner. I would simply right click on the note and select the feature that says copy to notebook. And then I would select the learner's notebook that I want to share the note in and select copy. And then the note would be shared with the learner. So if I go to the learner's notebook, now the note will be sitting there.